other than you know we we just uh, had some communication issues up front, and um, you know there's got to be a fine there's a fine line between the communication with the line and the backs, and um, we had a couple instances tonight where <clears throat> we just missed on that communication, and uh, you know they were able to get a little pressure on on the quarterback. Doug, what was your Just told him I was proud of him for the season that we put together. Nobody expected us, the Jaguars, to be in this football game from the beginning of the season to today. And I just told him how proud I was of them for how they hung together all season long, how they how they battled, fought through a ton of adversity. Um, you know, and just proud of the way they they kept battling all season to get to this spot and really battling this game to come down to the. You know, an onside kick to potentially, you know, seeing what what happens, right? And um, told them we were going to, you know, we we're going to learn from this, we we're going to grow from this, and uh, you know, our expectation is to be in these games every year. I mean, that's we're we're, we're just, you know, we're that's our expectation, and uh, um, you know, this was a good good first year for all of us. As far as like moving on, yeah, just, just like in the off season, no, carry no, no, no. or oh yeah, I mean, listen, he's um, he's he's learned. I mean, he, he's learning how to just put those plays behind him. Um, again, it was uh, you know we had some protection issues there and and tried to get the, the quick quick ball up to Zay and and guy made a heck of a play. You know, we had him, but. Guy made a great interception there, and um, you know it's. Uh, but he was able to shake it and 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 come back from it. Got the three points later and put us in a position. Doug, what can you, what can you say to your team afterwards? To obviously the Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not about obviously. Yeah, we're 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 all hurting because the loss, but we're all hurting too because this this is the final game of this year, and and that's the hard thing. Um, but like I told the guys, I mean, these are the games that we're going to learn f we're going to learn from, and we're going to be better because of. And um, <clears throat> you know, I told them, I says, hey, I said, just you know, plan on every year. Let's 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 being in these meaningful games at the end of the season. We we want to be one of the one of the four, five, six teams, you know, in the AFC every year, and um, our guys, our guys believe that, and um, you know, we still got work to do, obviously, but uh, um, it's also time to, to heal and to get away and, and um, you know, uh, get rejuvenated again. Well, I mean, they're dis they're disappointed. I mean, they're they're disappointed. Um, you know, with this game, felt like we had an opportunity to to, you know, at least tie the football game there there in the, late in the game. But um, I, I think they understand how good they can be. You know, some of the same ugly mistakes that showed up in this game were the things that showed up early in the season, and those are the things that we have to eliminate. Those are the things we have to. You know, move on from in order to to win against great football teams like the Chiefs are. You know, you you can't make those mistakes, and so I think they're disappointed from that um, more than anything, and and um, just coming up a little short. I mean, I, I I feel like we're close. I mean, <clears throat> you know, obviously we got the right we got the right leader in Trevor. I feel really good about him. Obviously, um, what he's done, how he's how he's played this this season, and. And you know, it's just you know, it's a matter of with the the youth of the team. You know, now these guys played a lot of football, and and they're going to learn from they're going to learn from the good and the bad, and and uh, it, it's something to really I think lean on as we head into the off season. You know, and as we approach the the off season program, you know, in a couple of months, and which is kind of crazy to say, but um, I, you know, we're going to learn. It's it's. I'm excited for for the future of Jacksonville, um, and you know, working with Trent, getting the right players in here, whether it's free agency, whether it's the draft, you know, and, and continuing to build build our roster. On the 98 yard touchdown that he directed, were you, was, were you disappointed that that maybe didn't become a, a three and out where maybe you guys can get the ball at midfield and have a scoring opportunity there? And, and what 
Yeah, I mean that was you know that was a, obviously a turning kind of a turning point or a momentum switch in the game. We had them at the two yard line and kind of let them off the hook a little bit. But uh, again, those are you know those are opportunities there where where we need to you know we need to be better. We need to play better, coach better in those situations to try to um, you know get off the field at some point. Um, you know, but. Uh, I mean that's what he does, right? He 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 eludes the, the pressure. He can he can step up and he's got great vision down the field and you know he, he finds those guys and, and you know we talk about it all the time. You know just uh, you get opportunities to to sack him or tackle him. You you got to try to. We're off of scrambles. I mean, that's going to happen. But he's a great player. I mean, it's again, he's a um, you know big target for for Pat and and uh, for Patrick and and really um, you know just um, y you know you obviously got to know where he's at right <clears throat> when he lines up in the formation and um, you know we just got we got to do a better job moving forward. Those are all things we can learn from. They gave us some opportunities. Um, there were some un unwarranted penalties in there too, right? That, that kept kept them on the field that, that we got to eliminate. You know, there was a rough in the passer, and you know, uh, I think we jumped off sides one time. And there's just things that showed up that we've got to try to eliminate. Um, you know, but I thought that overall the defense did a nice job of, of really kind of keeping things down. Um, you know, second half especially, you know, forcing them to punt the football and, and get the offense back on the field and. Um, so, you know, it's, again, it's, it's, uh, you know, football games are all about, you know, playing complimentary football and, and, um, you know, we can, we can learn from it and do a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, you know, no. Yeah, I mean, you, listen. You try to you try the best you can to try to create some turnovers or some takeaways. You know, um, there were a couple chances. You know, in this game, you know, to get some some hands on on these footballs, and um, it would have been nice to have gotten at least one of those. I think it's everything. You know, I've said this before that. You know the success of your football team it lies with your quarterback, and um, you know you got to get that piece and that player right. And I feel personally that in Jacksonville we got that person right, and and he's he's just going to get better. He's going to get better. Um, he's going to learn from this. Um, he's going to grow with the receivers, tight ends, the backs because they're all young. They're all you know. Potentially, you know, they're all going to be there and, and, and keep working. So we're just we're just going to continue to get better and and um, and grow as a team. Okay, coach. Thank you. All right. Thank you.